Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is telecommuting support, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. Because external users have the same information and communications needs as their in-house counterparts, special attention must be paid to ensuring they remain in the organization's infrastructural embrace so they can readily access and use the resources they need. This module will review the major device and network related issues encountered when supporting telecommuters. Part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program, it will touch on security, malware protection, maintenance and support, bandwidth, architecture, and VPN. The nature of the access device telecommuters use is a big part of making this model work as PCs, tablets, and smartphones now are all mainstream options. Relatively speaking, they are inexpensive, flexible, and of course highly mobile, attributes that recommend them well for telecommuting, but add to the information manager's woes since they are also prone to loss, theft, breakage, and unauthorized use. Capabilities, therefore, are needed to aid recovery, repair, and insulation from evil doing. Here are just a few ideas to aid your efforts in this regard. Security, physical and electronic, including everything from cable locks to screen locks and self-destruct modes to keep sensitive information out of hackers' hands. Malware protection, to keep viruses, keyloggers, and the like from infiltrating first the device, then your network. Maintenance and support programs, through which to manage hardware and software updates as well as training, repairs, and replacements. Another critical factor to consider has to do with the network over which people are phoning home, as speeds and bandwidths obviously vary widely depending upon the combination of devices plus wired, Wi-Fi, and cellular connections are being used. This, in turn, can have a dramatic effect on how your data is stored and distributed. For example, centrally or distributed, on-demand or at replicated intervals, and so forth. And this can have significant effects on the state of your budget since it will determine how many servers and communications links and of what capacities you'll need to procure. No discussion of telecommuting related device and network issues would be complete without mention of the VPN, the Virtual Private Network. A VPN is a network that uses public telecommunications infrastructures, like the Internet, to provide remote users access to a central organizational network. For the user, the experience is just like being connected directly to the central network, especially when there is good device processor power and network bandwidth. Secure VPNs use cryptographic tunneling protocols to block intercepts, packet sniffing, identity spoofing, and attempts to alter messages. Among the more common of the many protocols used are IPSEC, the Internet Protocol Security, Transport Layer Security, known as SSL slash TLS, and Secure Shell, or SSH. This module has reviewed the major device and network related issues encountered when supporting telecommuters, touching on security, malware protection, maintenance and support, bandwidth, architecture, and VPN. Having completed it, you may next wish to explore the section on web conferencing. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.